Welcome Achievers, this is Mr. Aguirre, coming to you from Arecibo in Puerto Rico. The radio telescope was built in the 60s, primarily to study the ionosphere. It wasn't until 1997 that the Gregorian Dome, which I'll show you in a second, was added to be able to study celestial objects by means of radio waves. So at the top, you see the Gregorian Dome, and again, it uses radio frequencies to be able to take pictures of celestial objects such as comets and asteroids. There are three giant towers that are one solid piece of concrete. It took 16 days to pour concrete down into the mold of these giant towers. Each of the cables on the tower is able to hold a ton. And that's again the Gregorian Dome with one of the original ionosphere. And then it's really hard to get a perspective of the Arecibo telescope. It's approximately a thousand feet in diameter, 500 feet down. It is built with almost 400 of these laminated, perforated, sorry, aluminum plates, which are about four feet, I believe, in diameter. And there at the bottom, you see additional six telescopes for, or rather uh, uh, antennas, to be able to study the ionosphere as well. Again, this is the Arecibo telescope in Puerto Rico. And there's Mr. Geary signing off.